Hi, hello. In a session zero, I was like, hey, I'm willing to do a lot of bullshit. I'm willing to take so much damage, um, temporary injuries, like, I will exchange experience points, levels, whatever you need me to. But I'm really attached to my characters, and I would prefer to avoid death, permanent death. Because as a role player, these are your characters that I've created backstory for, I've spent a long time getting into the head of, um, I do a lot of acting at the table, and so they become very dear to me, right? And so it's one of those uh, session zero things where I'm like, hey, can we at least talk about it? Can we work some like trade in? Um, I have definitely at least once saved an NPC by either surrendering my own experience or going out of my way to do a different side quest. Uh, like I, I earn these things, right? It's not like they're just given, but I'm a baby. I hate dying. <laughs> It's so cute, right? Oh, that's right. Disclaimer time. So, when I was editing the latest YouTube video, I realized that I never went and got Wither's sarcophagus loot. And I was mad because somebody put a bet in the comments on the previous video about whether or not I would go get the Wither's loot. And so I had to go get it. So we are going to come to in Wither's little house. And we're going to do some of the other things that I missed throughout the playthrough. I'm playing pretty completionist as, as much as I'm able, right? And uh, so I have a handy dandy list. That's where we're going to go. Well, not like completionist is in like to the letter, but if there's things that I think are valuable that I want to go back and experience or pick up, I'm going to do that. So I left us here specifically because, as you see, our lovely, wonderful Carlac has something to talk to us about. So, hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Mm -hmm. Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. I love how they just put a Starion link right there for us. I appreciate you, whoever you are at Larian. <gasps> Wait! Soul coins are just that? They contain people's souls? Wait, what? How did that escape me until literally just now? Have we just not talked about that yet? Oh, well, I guess we have to talk about the way that souls work, because it's of an elven soul, as we've talked about. They're immortal. They experience reincarnation. It's usually souls of people who made a pact with the devil. That makes me feel less guilty, but I'm like really... I'm really reticent if it's elven. Interesting. That's so much food for thought, right? Soul coins are just that, though. They contain people's souls. I'm not sure you should be using them. They're already lost. Better to be used in service of the good guys than a devil, don't you think? Next time we're in a nasty battle, drop one my way. You'll enjoy the results. I'm not sure we should spend soul coins for our own purposes. You're the boss, I guess. Can we at least think on it? And if it's just like a battle boost, one soul for a battle boost? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so let's consult our list. You find well, but you're so efficient. Why not have a little fun? Fun. I fight to win, not to make spectacles. <sighs> what a waste. This tiefling's proof fragile. 
Never mind to end their misery myself. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. <clears throat> I failed to see the distinction. You need to calm down, dear. Now, oof. I'm really sorry. But I never thought to click on the telescope. Peer through the telescope. Why is it blurry as fuck? So let's focus the telescope because there's a reason why we're using the telescope and not our eyes, right? We're gonna point it and try to use the telescope to get a better view because that looks like a dragon to me. It doesn't look like a dragon at all, apparently. <laughs> That's just a bird. What am I talking about? We have one inspiration. Let's fucking do it. I want to see this dragon. We can get this. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. That's a little better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, goodbye, I guess. You see a dragon circling like a bird of prey. Hunting. Now I can move the telescope. Okay, so he went to the left, so let's move it to the left. The telescope points to the left. Um, well, let's... Try to the right. The telescope points straight ahead. Maybe we move it to the right again? There we go. The telescope points to the right. I wish I could move it around. Well... I did try clicking and dragging and shit, but then it was like, hey, this is a cutscene. Do you want to skip it? And I was like, okay, no. Well, that's that, I guess. Glad you were here for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but she kept gasping. Clawing at the arrow. Taking life always has a cost. You have to feel it, or you'll lose who you are. I had the same thought. And it's just going to keep happening. Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunt in packs. You could hold off a horde of goblins from this position. Maybe, but we're not fighters. If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. Yeah. How far are we from the city? If the road was clear, a ten days walk, maybe? But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. Being watched. Wait, 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 wait. See that? I want to scale that. Yes, 10 days are Faerunian weeks. Can we climb? What do you mean? Oof. Hey, good looking. <laughs> Carl Agua, you're so cute. All right. Can you get up oh, here yeah. now? Bless. Okay. I'm seeing if my character will jump. Okay, good. Sometimes when I let her do it herself, she Shouldn't manages it better. In more interesting times. Cool, cool, cool. All I needed to do was spot this, and I knew it was climbable. Got some bass a bag of holding. I'm not seeing anything else, at least on slow down. the alt. Oh, nope, I lied. Just wasn't close enough. Okay. Now 
we get to go up? What is up here? Wait, 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 wait. Saving. Learn that lesson. <clears throat> what is this? I do not like spider webs. Unacceptable. The irony of me playing a drow and being terrified of spiders. What's hiding here? Cool, a silver pendant. It has guidance. <laughs> Grime covers this necklace, but you can vaguely discern delicate engravings of a moon and a heart. Amazing. And then, you know, a dagger. Hmm. Necklace has a harper sigil. Why were they here? You know what? Thank you, Minnie. It does make sense that we don't like spiders because we are not low swarm. Another potion of speaking with animals. Bless. Okay, what else? <gasps> yes! For the boy. He needs those really bad. There's... Oh, we don't want to do that. But we do want to get up there. Okay. Just a little loot, cubby. Oh, that might be worth a look. Excuse me? At the back of the crevice <gasps> lies a bag no! enfolded in the chitin no! squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. I hate spiders in real life. There are so many moments in all the various games that I've played where I just like nope right on out of situations because of spiders, but let's survey it with my like what non existent nature score. Oh, we'll get one from Int. Okay. Elastor, you guide me. Oh! It's my, uh, Lolf lore coming in clutch. Uh... The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. I, I don't, I don't. Uh, oh, God. Oh, I hate this so much, actually. I feel like we're using our years spent in Menzo Branson to overcome this. I hate every second. Uh, Fifteen. Oh, fuck, we've got it! Your voice draws their attention. They are suspicious, then curious, and finally, at peace. One by one, the spiders retreat to the rear of the crevice, lulled by your murmurs. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I'm really thankful that there's not just like a huge image of a spider that that I'm very grateful for, but I don't like any of this. I don't like it. I'm very uncomfortable. Okay, we're gonna reach for this bag. We have earned this. You stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. Ugh. Hey, we got another inspiration to replace the one we just used earlier. My uh, anxiety is sky high. Is this it? A plain leather bag cinched to the top with knotted cord. A oh no! A spider egg sack. Something or some things wriggle within the sticky shell. 
It's a bonus action? Do we throw that and then coat someone in spiders? Is this insect swarm? But not because spiders aren't insects, they're arachnids. Oh. oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. Several spiders rest in the rear of the crevice. Oh, you can crush them? Nah, I don't want to crush them. I'm not here to be mean. Cool. Oh, very interesting. I love that there are little world interactions like that. But like, oh, oh, oh. no, it's going to be a big no from me. Okay, um, not what I thought we'd be doing today. Um, we're somewhat close to the Albear Cave, so let's go get that chest that was in there. The pathing can be a little wild. In a while, Lazel. I do not take days off. I'd even forego sleep if such a thing were feasible. The one advantage an elf holds over a Githyanki. Asterion. Babe. Let's get in here. Here goes nothing. You should just be able to go around if my memory serves. Yeah. Okay. We want to go down here. I want we'll to finagle this just a teensy bit. I think we need to. Do we drop it? Is this the prayer sheet? you're supposed to use the prayer sheet with it because we've read it already chests unlocked my prayers are answered it just had to be right here when you do it <laughs> that's fine we're not almost dead it's okay everything's fine Ooh, oh a selenite right a plain unadorned note Got another necklace, more weird bloodstones, an idol. <gasps> Can I swap the one in the grove out for this? Moondrop pendant, writhing dance. When the wearer has 50% hit points or less, they don't provoke opportunity attacks. The back bears an inscription under a delicate crescent moon. So, Elastrae is moon-oriented, by the way. You're a novice no more, Robin. Only right you should carry a little of Our Lady's light with you. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna put that on me. Because I just have dancing lights right now. But I've got dark vision, so that doesn't really matter for me. Fighting flies. Midges. Ugh. Shouldn't nature be beautiful and serene? It looks so nice in the upper city parts. Oh. Upper city, huh? Swish. Never spent much time there myself. I'll happily take you if we survive this bug's banquet. Hmm. Sounds good. I've always been curious what a patriarchal looks like. <laughs> we have to speak with dead, with Scratch's old master, remember? We were trying to figure out what was going on. Shadowheart's not in our party, is she? Well. Easy way to do that. Look, Karlak, I love you so much, but I, I have stuff that I have to do with Lazelle. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one, too. Mm -hmm. Now, 
As for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Hmm. Honestly, I'm not so sure. I suppose it was a lot to take in. A devil sought us out, teased us with his help, but he also stared as if we were the banquet, yeah. rather than the one on the table. We can't hedge our bets here. Best we decide how to deal with him, if at all. Enough about me. What do you think is best? I'll tell you in due course. I just wanted to see how close we are in thinking, first of all. Oh. Um... I'm still unsure. He could be a help to us, or not. You know, failing to make a decision is the same as making a decision. Except you decide blindly. Or I could wait for more information to make a better educated decision. What's your point exactly? Spit it out. My point is that Raphael was stirring the pot, trying to unsettle us. He's clever. My order uses the same tactic when dealing with enemies of Shah. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt is sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. So who are Shah's enemies, then? Who receives this treatment? There are many. But they all renounce their gods when they are taught fear. Watch out for that devil. That almost sounded like a threat. Join me. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road. Especially if there's trouble. We should probably go okay. and talk to everyone. Now that we've had the Raphael stuff. Hmm. Do you feel as flattered as I do? <laughs> Fighted to dine with a devil. <laughs> I thought I took that hat away from you. I love that we succeeded in our arcana roll, though. What are we determining? You have a strange definition of flattery. Believe me, that was a devil's equivalent of serenades and roses. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us, badly. And in that knowledge lies it our does. opportunity. But what is it that this devil wants so badly? Our souls. But I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. A quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. What do you think Raphael's ambition could be? I'm the foggiest. But, based on the evidence before us, we can make certain deductions as to why he sought out our merry band. Fact one. There's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Mm -hmm. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, we're safe for now. We wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Oh, does his kitty not hang out with him while he's here? So sad. All right, well, I know this might be a bit of a sore subject, but. The devil with the silver tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the
the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer, no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. I thought he said he didn't regret. I do want to hear the terms of the deal before I, like, shut it down, though. He spoke of a cure. We have to at least hear him out. Take a single step towards him, and he'll dog you the whole journey. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Oof. I think it's really important to speak to Will on this topic specifically because of uh, his history with devils. He's got some really good experience that the rest of us could learn from. I gotta double check everybody. Speak. Okay. I'm assuming we don't have anything for Starian, but I'm gonna check anyways. I suppose you want to hear about Kazador. You said he was your master. My old master. Before the Mind Flayers took me from him. Before this strange, twisted freedom. Kazador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power, I mean power over people. The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. How were you turned? Did he attack you? Not him, no. A gang of thugs attacked me, angry about a ruling that I'd handed down as magistrate. They beat me to death's door when Kazador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity could be. Dang. That's so harsh. I, I appreciate the fact that it wasn't like quote unquote against its will, but it definitely isn't isn't great. You've been a slave ever since. A vampire's spawn is less than a slave. They're a puppet. We have no choice but to obey our master's commands. They speak, and our bodies react. It's all part of the deal. Sometimes he'd order us to submit to torture. Sometimes he'd have us torture ourselves. Whatever his weather vane mood settled on. That sounds terrible. I'm so sorry. Thank you. But this isn't about sympathy. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. And they might not be the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open. And watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. You keep me safe and I'll do the same. What more could I ask? Now is that all? You wanted to talk to me, babe. What do you make of Raphael's deal? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Cazador has control of me, body and soul. And I return to the shadows. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a devil? Better he has it than Cazador. 
Oh my god, that's so bleak. We have other options. Better options. Figuring out what's happening to us, confronting a god called the Absolute, and then finding time to kill my old master before he can control me once more? Yes, that's an option, but I wouldn't bet eternity on it. Why can't we tell him, yes, we will help you deal with your terrible sire? Okay. <sighs> All right. Time to see what new horrors waiting for us. Perfect. Now, let's go speak with the dead. A long way to go still. <laughs> The corpse regards you lifelessly. What happened to you? Pack of nose, claws, teeth. Where are you from? From Trail. Why were you in the forest? Let this delivery to. Baldur's Gate. Where did you keep the letters? In Bang Standard Issue. What's your profession? Runner Fleetfoot Courier Company. The spell's power wears. You can ask no more questions. Poor thing. Okay, but I didn't... Puppy's not here anymore. No one back home will ever believe this. Okay, I'm gonna save. Sorry, pup. Yeah, we'll leave his stuff on him, but we'll take the letters. I'll leave his effects. Okay. So, a tough letter, written in an irregular scrawl. This letter offers an olive branch. Nine fingers. I won't come back to the city. Not while you have your thugs looking for me. If you want a debt paid, you have to trust me and collect it yourself. Go to the graveyard and look for where M. Kerwin is buried. Get digging and you might find enough valuables to settle matters between us. Don't go looking for me. I'll know when I'm safe. From S. Soft leather. Excited, looping letters fill this message of love and hope. Davin, it's a boy. He's healthy and perfect. I've named him after his father. Come back and see us as soon as you can get leave. Love, Flora, and David Jr. And a personal note. A tight, professional memo written with care. Gomwick. Be doubly careful on the way back to Baldur's Gate. I've received more reports of attacks on travellers throughout the region. I can't have my best messenger winding up face down in a ditch somewhere. Watch yourself. Better late than never. Postmaster General Danzo. Oh, so sad. Unfortunate. Poor thing. We can read it. This tome describes the ancient initiation rites observed by some who worshipped the moon goddess, Selun. When a youngster comes of age, they would be left to fend for themselves, deep in the wilds. There, they would show their skills of navigation and self-reliance, as well as their determination to return to the moon maiden's silvery glow. Once they found their way back to their people, their faith and standing as a follower of Selun would be beyond any doubt. Or they might just not want to die. Jeez. That's ridiculous. Barrack nonsense. 
Yeah, you're honestly tell. Oh, I thought I found something very cool. Damn. Okay, what is next on the list? I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. So we need to talk to a rat. There's a building we didn't even check out. So, Gis, aren't you worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us? My name is Lazelk Chucky, and my kin will understand my need for servants. They will help you, but only if I ask. <sighs> I like how Astarian and I are just like... Exposed now. Woo! Okay. With the dust of their journey still clinging to boot and cloak, the un the canny traveler will no doubt seek to secure accommodation within the city post haste. Below are some establishments that are typical of what the city has to offer. The Blade and Stars, easily identified by its sign. A wooden shield boasting a curved blade against a field of stars. A handwritten scroll in the margin notes that the sign is currently not in place. This inn is comfortable, quiet, and highly recommended for travelers seeking to recuperate from their journey. Expect unassuming fare at a reasonable price, moderately clean rooms, and passably clean patrons. The Blushing Mermaid. For those seeking an altogether rowdier night in the city, the Blushing Mermaid should be the first port of call. Named for the life-size wooden mermaid on display, this inn is known for its ill-reputed patrons, frequent brawls, and altogether unsavory reputation. Nevertheless, I feature it here owing to great interest from my readership. I can only advise that you exercise extreme vigilance should you choose this establishment. Elf Song Tavern! Most of this passage is illegible due to water damage, apart from the words and phrases nearest to the inner margins. Dimly lit, Proprietor Allen, disembodied elvish stinking voice. That sounds great. There is a chest in the cart near the kid pile. We didn't go in here at all. Or, okay, Zoru's who we have to talk to, but I'm not going to do that right now. I don't think we opened this one. Yeah. Perfect. Hmm. All that for two gold. Okay, back over here. Now there is a rat. There he is. Do I have it on right Time now? Time to rest. Better find out. Leave me alone. Oh. I just You're gonna be, be friends. Every last one of you. Okay. Now we never finish this all the way. There's stuff over here too. Oh, you thieves are all boring. Even your cages are boring. Can I get here? I can't. Amazing. I don't like the look of that mushroom. Oh, is it bad? Stay clear. Oh, all right. What is up here, though? Oh, this is the back of that hut. That's really cool. We're gonna be really careful. So let's. I didn't think it would be so close. I thought we would be good at that distance. Oil of accuracy, elixir of vigilance. Ooh, plus five to initiative? Oh, and you can't be surprised. Nice. An acrid coppery aroma wafts from this liquid, clearing the senses and honing awareness. Elixir of bark skin. Drink to increase your armor class to 16. Nice. Before your eyes, the elixir firms into a tough, striated twig. Then it liquefies once more. 
Cool. Oh, we're okay. That also works. I was trying to find the loose rock. Are we? Oh, that's why we didn't go in because it was locked. There's a little child in here. A paralyzed child? Okay, so can we just drop in? I feel kind of bad. I'm glad we saved. Can I just... Stop! This place is off limits. Leave. Are you okay, though? Don't, don't worry. I'm here to help. All right, I'm not gonna use Charm Person because I don't think she's bad. Damn it, was inventory today. I'm sorry, nerves are shot after the attack. Do what you gotta do. Sorry if I don't show you around. No, you're fine. I'm a cleric. Let me heal you. <laughs> no need. Should be able to stand soon enough. Once this bloody potion wears off. <laughs> Sounds like it was quite the dodgy brew. No! I'm just an idiot. I wanted an edge against the goblins, and I got it. I'm as strong as a bugbear. And fearless. But the old lady, she warned me of side effects. Should have listened. Now I'm stuck guarding crates. That doesn't sound like a side effect at all. Let me heal you. <sighs> all right. I guess being fearless won't help if an arrow comes flying right at me. Hold still and I'll cast a spell. All right. This potion, can we just like cast any sort of heal on her? She's paralyzed. I'm gonna need like a lesser restoration if I'm not mistaken. Because these just heal your HP. They don't deal with status effects, not really. Sweet. So, perfect, now. Be happy to use the spell slot on you. Oh, well, can you just walk over here? <laughs> Why can't you walk over to her when I'm trying to cast this? There we go. My foot! It moved! Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! You're welcome. You good now? Any goblin comes near me now, and they'll regret it. I feel amazing. Look, you're not really supposed to be here, but I'll turn a blind eye. Just don't touch anything, all right? Okay. I'm gonna look at it, though. Let them come. Goblins, gnolls. I'm ready. You really don't want the gnolls. Oh, many things. I definitely don't want to steal from these people, but I want to peek at all of it. Cool. I am satisfied. Oh, wait, there's a book. There's a book. Can I read it, though? I can read it. The pages are stained with dust and mud, but between screeds about hygiene while traveling on the road, your eyes settle on this section. There were those that warned me against straying from the river, but I was out searching for an adventure, and we're better than the fields of the dead. Living in Baldur's Gate, one hears much about this grand, grassy plain, but one never visits. And for a place with such a desolate name, it is positively teeming with life. Well, perhaps not teeming, but there are honest farmers to be found there, and a large number of ravens. A 
Alas, I had no time to venture near the huge hills, or barrows, as the locals call them. But I'm told that ancient artifacts are but bursting out of the ground. A fine spot for little relic hunting. That's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. So cool. Oh, I want to see this, too. Supply log is scrawled and underlined on the inside cover. The dirt-stained pages that follow track the storage and use of food and medical supplies. A flurry of entries near the end suggests that the reserves are Let nearly depleted. Goblins, gnolls, I'm ready. Okay, making sure I don't miss anything. Soul coins, a tree to see. Now maybe we'll get a little bit more info. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, academic disclosure. This research was funded independently and conducted at a site in Avernus, the first plane of the Nine Hells. Candlekeep does not encourage or promote the entrapment of mortal souls. Soul coins is a concept, a one of merciless simplicity, the sum of personal and magic essence. The soul is bound into a minted piece of infernal iron and used as currency by devils and their cohort. They are frequently traded for their value, can purchase mercenaries, magical items, and even fuel the strange engines in the hells. However, there's a fascinating culture surrounding soul coins as well. I spoke to a devil who admitted she has one coin that she will never sell, for it was the bargain that got her promoted out of Lemur status. She connected me to a half-up warlock who would promise his soul to a coin after death. I was able to look at his contract, which is reproduced below. The next 50 pages appear to be a painstakingly written legal document in Infernal, with a headache-inducing number of footnotes. That's not looking good for Will. Cool. What fun lore. Okay, but now we gotta get out of here. I'm ready! Six hours later. An efficient path. We can just crawl the fuck out. God damn it. All right, everyone, let's go. I don't want to go through that door because uh, it is locked and I don't want them to know I was here. We had an arrangement with this nice lady. Okay, these things pop. Another we should be fine forward. now. Okay, let's come right over here. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we need here. So we're probably gonna have to jump here. Let me out, you bunch of softies. This is gonna suck. That's my HP. Wait, 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 wait. You've got a lot of strength, Lazelle. Every last one Which of means you. you've got lots of jumping. Wow. <gasps> sorry! I'm really sorry. There's a lot of those here, aren't they? We're gonna need oh, to be really quick. Okay, Even so. Cages are boring. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, everything's fine, actually. Sack. No. <laughs> this is my reward. Gross. Okay, what? A pitchfork. I can't get in this. Can I jump up here? <gasps> oh! No! It doesn't matter, we're in. A cooking pot? Is there. <laughs> Is there really nothing in here? You lockpick from this side. I don't know if she's gonna get it, but I'm gonna try. Oh, 
No. Yeah, we've got another thieves tool. Do I just not get these? No, I think I get them. There we go. For some reason, I'm gonna buy the you have to unlock it from this side and, and not this side. That's so weird. Dogs. Okay. There, we did that. Let's check things off. You're gonna be sorry. Every we talked to the rat. He you. did not want to talk to us. Which is okay. We did the house inside the jail. We did the house outside of the jail. We did the other path. What do we have left now? So we gotta do the stuff one house and gets oh, back. You thieves are all boring. And then fly in the boring. kid pile. Seems simple enough. Okay. Now. Mm. Sorry about the nest. You guys find anything good today? No. Everyone's got junk. Worse than junk. Don't worry, kids. In Boulder's Gate, purses practically grow on trees. Be I have patient. something to ask. We'll get there. Poor baby. Hey, what's up, old dude? You came! I have... Here! Mole said I should thank you properly for the harpies. So I wrote you a story. Oh. Aren't she the clever one? That's very kind. It's about you. I hope you like it. Let's see the story. Merkin's present to you, describing how you saved him from the harpies and how he thinks you were amazing. Oh, what a baby! Once there was a boy on a beach. He saw there was a harpy nest. He was a very good climber. He wanted to climb to the top and steal from the harpy nest. But the harpy was very mean. She sang a song and the boy forgot what he was doing. But then an adventurer passed by. The adventurer was very strong and killed the harpy in one blow and saved the boy. The boy was very cold and scared. He was standing in the water so he was very cold. But the adventurer had saved him. The boy thought the adventurer was amazing. The boy wanted to be like the adventurer. He wanted to be strong and save people and never be scared again. Just like the adventurer. The end. <laughs> what a baby. So precious. Are you for real? Requires a long rest. Ice cream. We could try Mage Hand. Hide, throw. Oh my god, I can't loot with the mage hand. Oh, I might be able to throw. Is this gonna be. Can you throw it all the way over here, buddy? <laughs> what a good boy! Thank you! Wow, that's cool as hell. Never mind. We got a work fang. This fang stinks of rotting flesh and death. The remnants of this work's many hunts. We've got an acid vial. The liquid bubbles slightly as it dissolves any impurities on the inner glass. And gold. Amazing. That was really cool. I love learning all this. Uh, Time to press ahead. The different approaches to these things. Okay, so we did that. Did the kid pile. It is indeed swamp time. Do you think you'll for you, Lazel? I know they do not. It is my responsibility oh, to cleanse myself. Oh, they pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. Oh. Feel like we're being it doesn't have to be one or the other. Someone who wronged you. Wrong me how? Oh, say so murder or theft. Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft 
would be paid for painfully, a thousand times over. Hmm, good to know. Why is she saying it like that? Oh no. Can't deal with that right now. Whoop, but I will deal with but that. That will fit in my bag. Okay. Do we need to jump? Or can you manage? Sweet. That might be a sack of coins, but I'm not gonna be a stickler about it. There is. Ooh, another class. Something burrow. good here, I hope. Burrow like bunny? I'll take that. So we can have some honey to roast some meat with later, maybe? Ooh, there's more up there. Okay, so. Hold on, we gotta explore this way first. <laughs> There's so much Your to Your sour face is tiring, Shadowheart. By all means, leave if I am so distasteful. I'd rather not turn my back on you, if it's all the same. Can we stop fighting, please? A raspberry, a full ripe berry that tastes tart and bursts at the slightest bite. They stain your fingers. Okay. So, you and Lazel. Please, Please don't remind me. But keep your guard up with her. Note. Are we forming like little alliances over here? Is it just the raspberry bush? Oh, hunter's stash. My perception score is so high. Now. Oh. Shadow heart. Such a grim name. For such a beautiful flower. Could you not stare so blatantly in my neck when you say that, please? Oh, but do keep calling her flower. She'll love that. Y'all are being very petty. We don't need any of this. We've got enough to deal with without y'all fighting all the time. That might be worth a look. Oh, let's do that. Ooh! Fleet fingers! A running jump once per turn after the wearer dashes or takes a similar action. They can jump without using a bonus action. Plain leather with a faint but unmistakable buzz as if eager to put idle hands to work. Ooh! Okay, so we've got some grease. We've got an antidote. Potion of healing. Ooh! Arrow of lightning and ice and darkness. Doesn't matter to me, I'm drow. Taish pink? A fragrant blend of red and white wines. Sodden nobles will deign to drink it only as a matter of last resort. Carafe of wine. A Cormirian specialty often enjoyed alongside meals. Okay. We're gonna take all of that. Bone cap. Oh. Where was the other one? Rose Marcel? Oh, that might be worth a look. Where? What? I missed it! I missed it! Where? A burrow. Oh, a backpack! Why am I just getting all of these supplies? Okay, what's in it though? Scroll of magic missile! And lots of gold. Shit. I have so many bags. Okay, so we had more. Bone cap. I don't like the way that looks. What did I get XP for? <laughs> Collecting herbs? <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, I discovered an area. Cool. Oh, gross. Nebular trash. Hello? 
These are gobos. Don't like it. Don't want it. I'm gonna take that though. I don't see anything with alt. We are going to the swamp. We are going this way. We are not going this way. Gotta make sure, like, I don't get too close in case. Exactly, exactly. So let's get the fuck away from that. <gasps> what? Look! Auntie Ethel? Okay, hold on. We're saving. We're saving. Oh, that is so kind. Man, that is so kind of you. <laughs> They're bonus goblins. We'll deal with them. I just want to deal with Kaga first. Leave you me. I will get to everything that I possibly can. Okay, so we're not going to deal with up here later. Or up here right now. We will do, do that. Do you harass every old woman you meet? Just tell us where she is. We don't want any trouble. But you're bloody getting some if you don't fess up. To what? We have found it. Ooh. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Auntie Ethel's face creases with false concern. You realize she's lying about seeing this girl, Mayrina? Stop this! We... We won't ask again! Oh. I don't know if I want to call her out for lying yet, because think about it. In character, she's been very, very kind to us. So, we know that she's uh, got more intel on this than she's letting on. I do hope this isn't the only opportunity I have to bring it up, though. Uh, how about you all just calm down? What's going on here? Careful! Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? Are these our options? We have to get involved. But she's not telling us something. I don't want to go in guns blazing and say, what did you do to their sister? It's like, what do you know? But I don't really have that option. Also, they're using the word hag a lot, which I don't like. Because hag is an actual creature in D&D. &D. There are lots of different types of hags, too. Now, I don't know whether they're just being demeaning or they know more than I do. There's, there's really not a good option for what I want to go with. But if it's either call her out or don't call her out, I feel like we have to. Ethel, what do you know about their sister? Bollocks. You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye-bye now. Oh! Bloody hells. She just disappeared. I ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hag has Rena. Is she really a hag? Will someone please tell me what's going on? It's our sister, Marina. She's... Well... She was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None Wait. of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! Oh. Wait, this is a real hag. This is a real hag? <laughs> That's not good. One of my favorite hag moments. I was playing my lawful good sun elf paladin of Corlon Lorathian, Oath of the Ancients. Chilise is very sweet 
mild-mannered, very caring, very doting, very gentle, until it comes to people being mean to children. So there's this one campaign where you come across a lady with a child in a cage making meat pies. And I turned to my group and I said, I'm really sorry. Because I know that we were not in a position to deal with a hag's CR. Which is basically like how difficult the enemy is. A challenge rating. And uh, proceeded to initiate a combat that almost one shot me. <laughs> but, uh, but that's what she would have done in the situation. Now, granted, notice I did clear this with my group ahead of time. I didn't just go for it. It's very important, especially if you're going to almost TPK your party. A Saren's gonna hate this. Let me. I'll bring Marina home. Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But, Joel, not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now, come on. For some reason, Astarian didn't disapprove. Maybe he just wasn't in range. <laughs> <laughs> well, that took a turn. I feel like Astarian might be sympathetic because he knows what it's like to be in a similarly subservient, helpless position at the whim of another, you know? That's how I'm going to flash that out in my brain. Well, I mean, I guess we gotta go after them. Oh, what is this? A potato! Move I'm me. getting distracted. A Siobhan? I don't know what that is. Potato and two carrots. I know what those are. Somebody was having a nice little picnic. Let's grab this mugwort. And these look like, grab the mugwort, please. Thank you. Oh, you're right, I was trying to find Kaga stuff. Oh my God, this game is just me. Wait, that's even farther? All right, we'll do Kaga things because I promised we'd do Kaga things. Oh, our boots are gonna get gross. Oh, Wisterian Dunning, I'm so sorry. What? A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Oh, of course we're gonna look for anything out of the ordinary. What do you mean? Um, let's add our guidance. Illustrate, guide me. Oh my god, this is such a high roll. No shit, we can't possibly make that. We have one inspiration. I'm gonna do it. We've got this, we've got this, come on. Yes! Excuse me? You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. What do you see? A spike trap in the water? Why? What do you mean? Did the druids do this? Did Kaka do this? Okay, hold on. Let me read the note before I forget. Is it this one? Yes. The note is written in a cheerful scroll, complete with love hearts. Amazing. Take a breather, lovelies, and have a bite to eat on me. Oh, 
a chevron is a steak. A chevron. A simple cut of goat's meat. That's why I've never heard of it before. Grilled over a campfire and peppered with roadside herbs. Okay, um, this is hag's food. We should probably should not eat it at all. Exactly. With the forest illusion dispelled, this apple's lethal nature has become readily apparent. No, thank you. Okay, now, is this Lord of the Rings rules? It looks like Lord of the Rings rules. Gross, 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 gross. Okay, loves, let's be super careful, please. Wait, is that a red cap? Is that what I'm seeing? It is. Wow, look at all this shit. Okay, I'm getting distracted because there's so much. Okay, we're going to jump. I hate the noises. You've got this. Be careful. <gasps> there are traps. Get out of the water! Get out of the water, y'all. I swear to God. Okay, hold on. Before we engage with this red cap, gotta save. Oh, who are you? A blood sage? That doesn't bode well. Okay, hold on. Where's Kaga's shit? It's the, oh, we need to go that way. Okay, everything's fine. Hey, little buddy. Can Very we well. chat? Do you mind? Hey. Diminutive creature sporting a red hat glares at you. You recognize the red cap, a fey creature known for its bloodlust. Oh shit. <sighs> that noise. Sorry. Is the creature pretending to be a sheep? Oh no. Do we bar? I don't normally mock a creature for the way that it talks to me. We take a deep breath and say, Bah. <laughs> bah. Oh. Are they friendly now? I'm... I'm kind of nervous to talk to them again. I don't want to like, I did get a Starion approval, so I'm really not uh, looking that gift horse in the mouth. Oh. But, uh, all right, okay. I'm sure you can have an encounter here because it looks like it's set up as an encounter. So I'm gonna just hang out. More poisoned apples, you bet. I don't want that rib cage, thank you though. All right. Is she just leaving poisoned apples everywhere? Can I loot the skeleton? Was that you getting mad? It's a candle. It's almost a kobold joke. Almost. Okay, I'm gonna skirt this. I don't think this is gonna... Ooh, ooh, a little water. It's just a little water. I am trying to be so precise. Oh, a barbed bulrush. Wait, where does this go? I'm getting so distracted. But this is the wrong way. No, maybe. Okay. Well, I guess let's go this way. I almost wish I'd left it pretty. Don't like any of this. Ooh, what is all this though? That is a bit, ooh, what is this? Wait, that's kind of what I need, isn't it? This is it. How do I, there to there to there maybe? Oh, oh. Blood. Okay. Oh no, they ate the apples, didn't they? I, I need to look at the barbed bulrush. Ow, my finger. Oh. 
We got a little cut. What's over there? Is this a decent enough path? Okay, minimal sloshage. Really? There's nothing here? There's a little peninsula. Fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. And this is where we came in? Okay, good. Alright. Well... There are no bodies. Hey, looks like we missed all the fun. Oh, baby. I don't want these apples. No ordinary creature did this. Redcaps ripped the place to pieces. Dang. I don't want any... I do want the pouch, please. These are fine. Potato. What do you mean? Salami, that is also a weapon. These are fine apples. Okay, we'll take these. Uh, okay, let's take the backpack. Jesus Christ, look at all the food! We have so much. I think we might have read this. The loot. What's in the crate? Nothing. Backpack. These apples are fine. And some Esmeltar red. Inheriting the worst qualities of its amni and varietals, this blend is resoundingly hollow. There's one more backpack. Oh! Scrolls and onyx. It said when Shar walks upon the earth, she leaves a path of onyx behind her. Very interesting. Yeah, this does seem a very bad place for a picnic. What do you mean, survival field? Hmm. What's that? Thanks, Lazel. <laughs> She's got it. She's got it. Okay. Good. I need all these things. We've done pairs. Yes, we have. Sweet. Um, Shadowheart, darling, why are you in the water? Okay, I'm gonna walk to the edge just in case something crops up. Oof. Gonna jump. Oop. I was trying not to get in the water, but that's alright. Everything's fine. Oh, there's a trunk. Mmm. That's kind of in the water, though. Okay, please, Al. I have a job for you. Like it's will be done. You were kind of in the water, anyways. Let's Can you get that for me? It has a hammer. Nicely done. Okay. Quick, go back. Then. All right. What now? Link back up. And let's jump again. Uh, this giant tree is giving me druid energy. Is, are we headed in the right direction? We are. Oof. Decrepit sanctuary. I don't love the sound of that. What? What? What are you? Ancient. It's a method. It's a method. Okay, so methods are like a little like. Sprite, but not Sprite. They're just like little mischievous creatures that I have gotten into initiative with. They are like all the different types of elements, right? Astarian. So jump is bonus, right? Um, let's go here. Oh shit, it's not gonna let me through. Can you do this though? Good, this is fine. Bless. Okay. Now, sir, can you use the rest of your movement to get over Let's here? Let's go. Blood comes easy these days. Okay, so, I just have to go through the water, but maybe I can jump? To spare some of that movement? Okay, good, 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 good. Where are the rest of the methods? 
What are you? Uh, oh, oh no. Shit, I'm tanking. Love it. Okay. He summoned another one? Shadow Heart. Nice. Okay, let's see how much movement we can get out of this. Amazing. Perfect. Nice job. Victory awaits. Let's get you up here too. You still have some more movement, don't you? Bless. Yeah, let's just smack. <laughs> Easy. All right. Um, I'm going to leave her here. So she's going to intercept our aggro. I don't need to use action surge yet. I didn't see that one. We uh, got a party going, it looks like. Um, opportunity attack. Oh. He did two points to crit. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You can reach, good, good, good. Can you reach with this? High defense. Regeneration. I don't love that. What a good boy. Okay, a starry night. Darling, you are done. Sometimes the only way Time for me. Through. All right. Flame arrow. Flame arrow. No, I only did I only have the one? Why am I doing this with my life? God, could you imagine an AoE arrow right there? Oh, it's going to be so good. Ice is going to slow him down. I have got the most arrows of that one. Uh. Wait, he slipped on his ass, though. That's nice. Cool, we're done. Time to get beat the fuck up. We all saved, that's fine. Oh, he's gotta get up. We all saved, that's fine. Okay. Shadow Heart. Are you a little buddy? You're a little buddy. I feel like these guys need to die first, though. Okay. Now. This might be useful. I feel like this is where we're gonna spend all our spell slots and then we're gonna have to save and long rest. Okay, who has the lowest AC? Astarian by far. Okay. Yeah, we'll just use a level one. Cool. I just wanna make sure we're helping our friends out. Okay, so, you're the one concentrating on this spell. I need to stop it. Okay, I, I have a rush, right? Knocking prone? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Fuck. And it doesn't look like she saved that one. <clears throat> okay, well, let's try for the days, though. Disadvantage? Because I'm entangled. All right, all right. Can I shove? <sighs> Fine. <clears throat> oh! <clears throat> Why would-
would you punch him? Why would you punch him, you absolute jerk? an offhand, but I don't think I can get over to him because he's in the water. Oh, apparently I can. Excellent. <laughs> oh, for one point of damage. That's fine. We'll be okay. We'll be fine. Another fight. Let's go. Okay. I'm gonna try to deal with this man first. Hmm. Wait. Fairy fire should give us advantage. Is it gonna give us everything? Look, I can get both of them. Amazing. No one gives a fuck about you, little dude. <laughs> I'm just over here being salty. Okay, so can we flourish? Can I get him? No, I can't. All right. Trying to make sure I am using everything that I possibly can. Oh, don't hit me, though. Don't hit me. Oh, opportunity attacks. <laughs> Get fucked. Oh. Ow. Wow, that hurt a lot. Shadowheart, we really need to deal with these guys that are here right now. Let's murderify this. Get rid of it. Oh, we got rid of the vines. That's good. None of us are on fire, I don't think. Can you shove him? Ah! Yeah, which best shot? Time to strike. Okay, Lazelle. Exactly. Let's beat the shit out of this man. Okay, what's doing my most damage? Let's do this. This is an ass ton of damage. What if I use this on this? Oh, come on. We got him. Cool. Now, can we... Let's impose ourselves over here. <laughs> She's on fire. That's okay. If we're gonna rest after this anyways, we might as well action surge. Let's fuck this man up. You don't have fairy fire and it is very apparent. Amazing. Perfect, everybody's doing great. Leave him alone. I'm just gonna do a normal attack. Yeah. What a little dick. Where do I go from here? Almost. I can flourish. Ha 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 ha. Nice. Oh, she's muddy. I'm so sorry. Nice. Don't growl at me. So what does muddy do for her? Movement speed halves, attack rolls. Oh, have advantage. Oh, and we have disadvantage. I'm so sorry. Nice job. Push him. <laughs> nice. Okay. We can murk him. Wow. Lazel, you are a bad bitch. Amazing. See you later. You have like, well, I, it's better to use the fire on this man, hopefully. And then maybe with our offhand, grab that guy. 
Awesome, awesome. You're amazing and I love you. Oh, death burst. I love that. Everybody's cool. Everyone's fine. I am too now, Muddy. But we've shrugged the mud off. Everyone has shrugged the mud off? Yes. Nice. I hope that each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day or night. Whatever time it is, wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Oh my goodness. We still gotta wait this out because y'all are the sweetest. Thanks for watching. For more content, you can check out these videos or my stream on Twitch or my reaction content on TikTok. All the links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.